So we spent the last month pouring everything we had in to get back into riding, and then in one night, it was all gone. Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh, and in this video, I wanted to give you an update. If you've been on social media, then you probably have seen that Monday night, the 9th of April, my shop was broken into and about $20,000 in dirt bikes were stolen. So the intent of this video is to catch you up to speed, how it happened, how they got my bikes, and what I've learned throughout the process that will help protect you from theft, um, whether it's dirt bikes or something else. And just a general update, I pretty much live my life on the channel. Over 70% of my free time is dedicated to this channel. So I wanted to post an update here. So we're gonna get into that right now. As a quick note, I'm not gonna start a GoFundMe. I'm not accepting donations or anything like that. On the website, I do have my Pursuit of Accuracy t-shirts and I have some hats and they are on pre-order to help raise funds to recover from some of this. If you're not inclined to do it, I totally understand. I'm not asking for a handout. I normally sell merch. It's been a long time because I've been traveling, but what better opportunity to put some merch back on the channel and hopefully help raise some money to help recover from what is a $14,000 loss to us. So let's start from the beginning. How did these guys find me? So a lot of people were like, oh, they knew you, they knew. That actually didn't turn out to be the case. I don't know any of these guys. They actually targeted me through Facebook Marketplace. So be extremely careful what you post to Facebook Marketplace. They will take your approximate location and they will start casing you once they know you have something that they want and they think they can steal. This is pretty much out of 30 or 40 people I've talked to, this is the one common thing. They posted something to Marketplace and then that night, their bikes were stolen or the very next night. So be very careful of that. Number two, the question I get a lot is, well, you had insurance. I have homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance does not cover motor vehicles. So the only thing they will cover that has an engine is like your lawnmower or a tractor or something that's used to service the property. Now, check specifically with your insurance to make sure, but if you have other things like dirt bikes, ATVs, you need to call your insurance and make sure you have them covered under comprehensive that'll protect you from theft, vandalism, fire, those kind of things because it is specific to them and will not be covered under your homeowner's insurance. And unfortunately, most of the protection is gonna have to come from you before and after if you do get your bike stolen. Now we were able to recover one of the bikes, which was my buddy's bike, and it was one of the more expensive bikes. That's how we went from $20,000 to $14,000 in loss here. Now that bike did need seven or $800 in repairs to get it back where it was, but we were able to recover it. Luckily, when I posted about this happening on social media, we had people reach out. We followed up on some leads. We spent two to three days ourselves working as hard as we could to schedule a meet with these guys under other people's accounts to try and get them in a location. And my buddy was literally hunting the streets. He spent two days in this city tracking down this bike and finally spotted the guy with the bike. We called the authorities, they showed up, we got the bike back. Unfortunately, they dropped the ball and they let the guys walk. There is a warrant for their arrest now, but it's yet to be seen on whether or not that's actually gonna happen or if the guy's gonna ghost. So tips for you, if your stuff gets stolen and it has a VIN, uh, follow up consistently and quickly. Make sure that those VINs are entered into the system. If they're not entered into the system, other law enforcement agencies are not gonna help you even if you find the bike. And unfortunately, I'll link the website down below, but the free Nick B search tool, it just doesn't work. I had bikes that were entered and verified by police officers that I checked on the Nick B site 12, 24 hours after, and they don't pull up. So be extremely careful even when you're buying a bike. It's gonna be hard to tell if you're buying something that's stolen. So a lot of times, maybe the guy you're buying it from doesn't know it's stolen either. You may check the Nick B site and it shows a clear VIN and it's gonna turn out that the bike is actually in fact stolen. So worst case scenario, call your local law enforcement, have them run the VIN for you and make sure it's not stolen. That way you don't find yourself out of a bike and money. But to wrap this up, unfortunately, no one is gonna work harder than you are to get your bikes back. It's just the way it is. Fortunately, we were able to recover one. Unfortunately, those guys were able to walk, gave them plenty of time to move, ditch, sell off, or destroy the other bikes. So the likelihood of us ever getting any of the other bikes back is pretty much slim to none. 
Um, it's been a week now. We've seen nothing since that first bite. Uh, maybe down the road we'll recover one more at some point. I'm hopeful for that. But at this point, I'm just trying to move on and move past the situation. For everyone out there who saw the social media posts and that have bought t-shirts and or the hats, I truly appreciate you. This particular situation, me and my buddy, basically sold everything we had laying around that we weren't actually using and took every dime we had and put them into these bikes. We had the bikes less than three weeks and they were stolen and we were left with nothing. So we spent the last month pouring everything we had in to get back into riding and then in one night it was all gone. So it's been pretty rough because we really can't replace this stuff. There's no way for us to do it. We took everything we had to get them and now it's gone. So again, for those of you who are gonna buy t-shirts or maybe those who already have, I appreciate it more than you know. Um, every little bit helps and I'm super thankful to have a great community behind me. And honestly, the biggest lesson I learned is uh, people are right. You know, when things go bad, you're gonna find out who your real friends are real quick. And luckily I have some amazing people that are friends of mine, uh, No amazing people like you guys that are watching this video, got a tremendous amount of support that led to leads that ultimately led to us getting a bike back. So I thank you guys for that. I appreciate you and we'll catch you on the next one.